Part of the 3D printing experience is having an acute understanding of how the machine works and how to properly calibrate it to give you the best chance for success. Making sure that the first layer of every 3D print is the ideal distance from the bed isn't the only factor in your 3D print success. You also need to ensure your 3D printer's bed is universally level. Your first layer may look perfect in the front of the bed, but it's also important to consider how well it's sticking in the back of the bed as well. Leveling the bed of your 3D printer is an important step in getting high quality 3D printed parts, but it can be a little tricky. Luckily, the pros at Matterhackers are here to help. Let's take a look at the essential lessons of leveling your 3D printer's bed. Whether you're trying to troubleshoot the bed leveling system you already have, or learn more about a new one you want to move on to, check out our video index on the left to see where you can jump ahead to. What does it mean to level a printer's bed? First, there's the important distinction that what is colloquially referred to as leveling your bed would more accurately be called tramming your bed. The goal is not to have the bed level in relation to the floor, as you might imagine doing with a bubble level, but rather to have the bed be the same distance from the nozzle across the entire surface of the build plate, or put differently, the bed parallel to the print head gantry. This in fact might mean that if you take a bubble level to your 3D printer's bed, you'll probably find that it's skewed. However, start a 3D print that runs across the entire bed and you'll see that the first layer is perfectly flat. Simply put, leveling your printer's bed is exactly as it sounds. You wanna make sure your bed is level so there is a precise distance between the nozzle and the entire surface of the build plate. Now you can't just put a standard bubble level on your bed and call it a day, because again, the level we are looking for is between the nozzle and the print surface, not the nozzle and the workbench, desk, or floor that your printer is sitting on. In terms of construction, manually leveling, or adjusting your printer's bed by hand, is the simplest form of bed leveling you will find on a 3D printer. Generally, the more affordable the 3D printer is, the more likely it will be a manually adjusted bed, because it doesn't require any complex calculations or extra hardware to make it work. Three points define a plane, but many printers still use four screws to level the bed, with one at each corner. Tighten down all the screws at each corner so you have enough room to loosen them later. Aim for screwed down halfway instead of all the way or all the way off. This will give you more room to work with. Home the Z-axis. On some printers, Z0, home, may be too far from the bed, even when all the screws are loose. In that case, you'll need to move the Z-minimum end stop slightly lower to calibrate. Using the LCD menu or other interface, jog the print head over each screw that levels the bed, insert a piece of paper between the nozzle and the bed, and loosen the screw until there's a very slight resistance when you pull on the paper. You don't want the piece of paper to be locked between the two, just enough pressure to feel the drag when you move the paper. Repeat this for the other screws. You want to make sure each screw pinches the piece of paper with the same amount of pressure to have a level bed. After adjusting all screws, check your work by moving the nozzle over the screws again and making sure they didn't shift from previous adjustments. And lastly, start a print. You can make adjustments while the 3D printer is printing to fine tune your first layer. Once your printer is leveled, it should stay that way for a good while. However, it's a good practice to adjust or re-level your printer's bed occasionally to ensure great prints every time. Ideally, manually adjusting the bed is enough to have a consistent first layer. However, depending on the quality of components used on a 3D printer, a bed may not be uniformly flat surface to start with. In some cases, thinner 3D printer beds have a tendency to bow and warp as they heat up and cool down, which means no matter how hard you try, there will always be some point on the bed that will be lower or higher than the rest. Effectively, no amount of thumb screw adjustment will compensate for a 3D printer with a bed shape like a bowl unless you have some compensation routine, like software leveling. What is software leveling? Within Matter Control, our slicing software, there exists a guided wizard that will allow even the most extremely out of shape printer beds to have a uniform first layer. By manually mapping the bed of your 3D printer, Matter Control is able to adjust the Z values in the slice G code so the nozzle is constantly moving up and down to achieve a consistent distance from the bed throughout the print. You will need to connect your 3D printer directly to Matter Control by connecting the USB from the printer to your PC. Once the leveling is complete, you can continue to 3D print from Matter Control or export the slice G code onto an external device like an SD card or thumb drive. First, connect your 3D printer to Matter Control. Under the Controls tab and Calibration subsection, click Printer Calibration. Follow the wizard. 
Your printer will then move to home X, Y, and Z, and then move over the first point that we're going to calibrate. You'll insert a small piece of paper between the nozzle and the bed and slowly decrease the distance until you feel a very slight resistance on the printer against the piece of paper. You don't want enough tension to hold the paper tight, but enough to feel that it can't slide around anymore. Repeat this process for every point of the grid until the mesh can be constructed. The most important thing is to have the resistance of the paper the same at every point so that it is uniform. A little too tight is fine as long as you use this measurement throughout the bed. Slice up a test print to check your work. A large rectangle that covers the bed will make it clear if any point is too close or too far at that particular point. And last, adjust the Z offset by baby stepping further or closer to the bed for an ideal first layer. After it's all said and done, your bed itself won't be level, but your first layers will have a consistent distance from the bed, which means your 3D Prince foundation will be adhered to the bed and lead you on the path to success. Be sure to run through this wizard again if you find that you are experiencing high or low spots in your first layer, or adjust the number of points you have in your mesh grid if the trouble spots are between the probe points. On some 3D printers, user intervention is kept to a minimum by a handful of features built into the firmware of the 3D printer, hard-coded into it to make finding the perfect first layer as hands-off as possible. By using a small probe to detect the bed and its relative distance from the Z-minimum or Z-maximum, the firmware is able to automatically run through a bed leveling procedure and construct a grid that will compensate for an uneven bed. Think of firmware leveling as essentially the same thing as software leveling, except the printer is doing all the thinking instead of you and a piece of paper. If your 3D printer has firmware leveling, it is likely enabled by default, rather than something you turn on if you want it. The best practice is to follow the instructions prescribed by the manual included with your 3D printer. Most 3D printers with firmware leveling will have a wizard, a guided walkthrough, incorporated into it to make setup easier. In general, the process will be similar across the different 3D printer and probe types. First, the nozzle and bed will heat up in order to allow them to expand and get a more accurate reading. Then the print head will move around the 3D printer, probing various points to create a mesh of the detected surface. Either a series of lines will be printed to determine which Z offset works best, or a small test print will need to be started manually. With that done, the Z offset will then need to be adjusted through the LCD menu to move the nozzle closer or further from the bed to achieve a proper first layer and determine the distance between the probe tip and the tip of the nozzle. Firmware leveling is a straightforward process that aims to simplify what used to be a significant hurdle for newcomers to 3D printing. By integrating automatic systems, it becomes easier to have repeatable results. Spend less time worrying about your 3D prints you just started and more time focused on slicing up your next one. There are many different probe types that can be found on 3D printers, and you can check out our articles on the different types to see what kinds of limitations, if any, your probe might have. Whether you have a 3D printer that needs to be manually leveled, or a 3D printer with fully capable firmware leveling, it's important to understand the basics of how the process works to troubleshoot and calibrate your 3D printer as you become acquainted with it. Hopefully, with the help of this guide, you now understand how to level your bed and get smooth and consistent bottom layers in your 3D prints. With this knowledge, you are well on your way to understanding the 3D printing essentials. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey there, thanks for watching 3D Printing Essentials Bed Leveling. Personally, I use firmware leveling in all of my 3D printers at home, but manual leveling is a robust option that still has its place. If you want to read some in depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.